People are arrested in Germany, jailed for speech. No, no! They are arrested, they are arrested if they use hateful speech. Because of course they are! Okay, f*** off! So you want Nazis? You, want you guys started it! Time for the latest installment of Change My Mind, where we rationalize our positions on controversial topics. This installment's premise is simple in that while the media has been repeating ad nauseum that President Trump is a racist. Well, Jesus Christ, of course he's racist. Yes. He's basically threatening us with going full racist. Do you believe President Trump is a racist? Yeah, yeah, no question. Look at what he's done, it's racist. I'm not convinced. I don't buy it, but you are welcome to change my mind, including you watching right now in the comments section. Make your case. And for those who missed it, this topic ruffled some feathers before we even started. You're a damn backstabbing Trump supporter. A damn lying ass lying right to my face. You want to sit down and talk? Sure. Yeah, I don't know. You're you reasonable. Yeah, I don't. I won't scream at you. Eat shit, you ass. You straight from me, Jesus Christ. Eat my butt. Click the link in the description to watch the full video. Uh, now, once that wrapped up, we managed to have a couple of people actually try and make their case. Well, then why do you think that Donald Trump is a racist? You're like one of those moms. Is that the sentiment in Finland? Oh, yeah. Well, that would be interesting to sit down and talk about it, because it'd be interesting to hear a more international approach. We just had, uh, this lady's from the Netherlands, and she sat down. Okay, yeah. let's do Okay, yeah, come on, let's do it. Thank you so much. Here, where's, oh, where'd you, yeah, you can both, I'll, I'll kneel, you can both sit, and I'll kneel. Are you sure? Yes, it's totally fine. Okay. Come on, come on up, come on up. No. Just your friend? Yeah. All right. I have to brave the wilderness by myself. All right. Okay, awesome. So, you're both Finnish? We're both, no, actually, neither of us are Finnish, we both live in Finland. Oh, where are you from uh, originally? Germany. Oh, Germany. So you're both German? No, she's Estonian. Well, come on, you're throwing me for a loop. Are you Finnish? Are you German? Are you yeah, Estonian? I know, I know. It's complicated. It's, okay. it's complicated. We're expats. So, German by way of Finland, Estonian by way of Finland. Yes. Okay, understood. All right. I actually was raised in French Canada by way of United States now. Okay, yeah. okay. I had a good friend when I was being raised who was Finnish. Uh, okay, before we continue, because then I'll, we'll get to the Donald Trump thing, let me ask you this. There's something really weird with my friend who was Finnish. Uh, he would talk to his mother when she was naked in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that very common? Yeah, but that's very common in Germany as well. Okay, it's not here. I know, I know. You guys have a weird thing about nakedness. Like... Well, more so naked moms. <laughs> but yeah, I remember I thought it was really weird. Yeah. He was a great friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't speak okay. English, but we both spoke French. And I remember one time I, he was talking to his mom in the bathroom. I said, what? Well, she was in the bathroom. He said, yeah, she was just taking a bath. I said, but that's that's exactly what I was insinuating. You you talk, He's like, yeah, I talk to my mom all the time when she's in the bath. So that's common. Yeah, it's common because we have sauna, so we well, love ourselves like getting naked in front of others. Well, I'm not gonna lie, that's a reason why I think uh, the United States is better. <laughs> um, all right, so you were saying you're from Finland, you said you don't necessarily feel super informed, but it is a general sentiment in Finland that President Donald Trump is racist. I, I, don't, I don't think he's racist at all, but I would, I, I would love to hear why you think that, or why that's a sentiment in Finland changed my mind. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I think that's the sentiment in, Finland, based on his speeches, you know, for instance, about Mexicans saying that, like, you know, some of them are rapists and, like, you know, some of them are good people. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a general sentiment in, uh, in Finland is that he's racist and, like, uh, supports white supremacy. Oftentimes, even just about not saying certain things, you know, like... Hmm not protesting certain things like when we had the the uh charlottesville charlottesville exactly yeah uh when he was talking about like there's problems on like both sides or like you know mistakes have been made on both sides yeah i, I find that very troubling well, because it normalizes white supremacy so what if i were to tell you that a lot of what you just said would would sort of indicate media bias that the media is the one lying to you not really donald trump so take the mexican thing for example where he mm -hmm. talked about rapists he was talking about ms-13 it's a notorious uh, yeah, south yeah. american gang yeah, yeah he never said mexicans are rapists he was talking about ms-13 and then said by contrast a lot of mexicans are good people as it relates to charlottesville you know i don't do you know that he specifically said in that same speech he specifically said i'm not talking about white supremacists or neo-nazis they should, they're, they should be condemned totally. But he said that specifically. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that he said that? 
No, 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 I don't think so. Would that change your opinion on him not condemning them? If he said, I'm not talking about white nationalists, I'm condemning them totally, and he said, but there were other people who were not white nationalists on both sides protesting and supporting the Robert E. Lee statue being torn down. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, in a way that kind of, for me, normalizes, because like, we've seen, you know, we've seen the kind of people that were there and saying that like, they are not white supremacists, they are just like, you know, protesting um, which I think, like, if you protest peacefully, that's totally fine. But that was most people there. It wasn't all a white supremacist and Antifa protest. There were there was Antifa on one side, white supremacists, but there were a lot of locals at that protest just there over the Robert E. Lee statue. Yes. And he did say there were fine people on both sides there protesting what they saw as a very important statue coming down. He said, now I'm not talking about the white supremacists or the neo-Nazis. They should be condemned totally. Yes, yes. Is that acceptable? Um, no, because it's just a way of, like, you know, it's a, it's a way of doing his duty. Like, he knows he's not allowed to, like, he can't completely uh, stand on the side of white supremacists, but in a way of not saying certain, uh, certain things, you support a certain imagery. Well, what would he need to say? Like, I don't understand. Like, for example, for example, right now, this guy right here, right? I think he's very rude. And uh, I appreciate you sitting down. And I would say, hey, listen, today, there were many people here who were civil, who were polite on both sides, meaning yeah. you more liberal, these people more conservative. And I would say, I'm not talking about that guy who was screaming and cussing. He should be condemned totally. Am I supporting that guy? I mean, how much more expressly could I condemn him? I, don't, that's, and I, I say this because I genuinely don't understand how someone can hear a president, most people don't know this, when he says, I'm not talking about neo-Nazis or white supremacists, they should be condemned totally. What language would satisfy you? Mm -hmm. No, it's also about actions taken. I mean, if I if I think about the fact that somebody says, like, we need to have a wall on our border, you know, and... Like you, you have things like, that? you know, uh... What's wrong with that, though? What does it have to do with white supremacy? No, no, no the absurdity is true. Well, because it, okay, I'm from Germany. We had a wall. Mm -hmm. And what a wall generally means is either you try people from getting out or you, like, stop people from getting in. Right. And... A little different, though, when you're talking about the, the Berlin Wall talking about gross human rights tragedies inside that wall that they wanted to maintain the ability to Yeah, to but out. what about human rights tragedies happening right now at the border where, like, children are separated from their families? Well, you know, that's actually the Flores consent policy that was, you know, goes back to 97, and Obama was the one who was doing that first. A lot of the pictures you see of kids in cages, that was from Barack Obama. So the whole idea is that it actually was considered inhumane yeah. to uh, separate, uh, to, to put kids in detention centers. Mm -hmm. And so then people complained, and so they put them in detention centers with their families. But I just don't think it's genuine to compare the Berlin Wall to protecting a border. Right? I don't see it. I mean, you mentioned white supremacy. This is interesting to me, though, because I think a lot of Americans, right, they hear this and they watch it. People who watch the full tape, we go, oh, well, he says neo-Nazis and white supremacists should be condemned totally. So clearly he condemns it. And then you say, well, that's not enough. And I think that that's, there's a disconnect because a lot of Americans here, everyone here who despises racism says, well, that's enough for me. He says they should be condemned totally. He's obviously not on board and he repeatedly said that, but you say it's not enough. So it's, it's got to be hard to convince people that someone's a racist that way. Yeah, yeah, well, that's because, like, I mean, um, you know, the way that we look at racism is very subtle, you know? Like, there's very, like, there are parts still in the system that are very much, like, race-based, mm -hmm. you know, that he reproduces. Like what? And, like, yeah, like, why do you need a wall at your border? To protect your border, to keep illegal immigrants from coming into the country. Okay, who else How is has, that racist? How el who else has a wall in... The world. Mexico. Apart from Mex the I Mexico. I couldn't give you China. Yeah. Donald Trump, you build your lynch mob mentality. Where has China wall? The Great Wall of China. Yeah. That was built like. Sure. Yeah, a long time ago. Yes. Yeah. The Vatican. The Vatican is a, that's a religious. Like that's very very. Religious. Israel. Yeah, that's once again a religious. Okay, so we're going to throw out all the examples city. of valid walls. The point is, we have a problem, though, unlike, no, the point Ger is, unlike Germany. We have a problem with so many people wanting to get in our country, right? Oh, so many people wanted to come to Germany. Do you have any idea? We have, like, a million refugees. We accepted them all. All? Yes. Okay. That was a, How's that working? It has been working out very well. Really? There were, like, huge, like, have you... Okay, maybe you haven't seen this, but 
in Munich. There were like refugees the, the coming from now. Syria, right. from uh, like you know northern Lebanon. And in Munich, there were like people waiting for them, and they had like teddy bears. They had like presents for them, and they opened their their hearts and their arms for them because we know how hard it is if you're going through a war, you know or if you're like in any way repressed in your system like germany knows very well what that's like right and having like people that take you with open arms is so important in those moments and we let them in like we had our border open yeah. like angela merkel said they can all come right yeah they've changed it a little bit since then because they, they have they, changed it because since they, then. you've yes. run out of room Yes, yes. Yeah. And, mean, the sky, and the skyrocketing crime and the rape and all that has been a real problem. There has no been, has been no skyrocketing in crime and there hasn't been an increase no, in rape. No, there has been. There has been a there drastic been... increase in, in rape and crime. And Okay, but then you are then you are wrongly informed here because like no, I'm I worked not. In, I worked in German media. I sure. worked in German news. Yeah. And that's not accurate. It is accurate. There's been an, a drastic increase in rape <laughs> in the in Germany. <laughs> Dramatically. Where do you have that information from? Well, I, I, you know, I don't have it at the ready, but let's start with Cologne. You know, you guys actually, yeah, yeah, have, yeah, you guys have actually gotten to the point of handing out do okay. not rape pamphlets. Okay, let's talk about Cologne, but then let's and talk about what happens in Dresden, what happens in Saxonia, where like True. refugee uh, centers are getting burned down, where people are getting like screamed at when they arrive, right. where like you have like hate crimes. We recently had a politician getting killed because he supported refugees. Yeah. He got shot. It's terrible. Killed. But that would also lend itself to the overall increased crime, right, in Germany? Yes. It hasn't been super easy, and that would lend itself to the reason that no, Merkel has said, been super right, easy. we have a problem, we need to cut oh down. Oh my god, it, it hasn't been but super I, easy. But let me ask you this, can someone, <laughs> can someone oppose open borders and not be a racist? For example, can someone support strong immigration policy, yeah. especially in the most desirable country in the world, the United States? Uh, I think you can support strong immigration policy. Um, it's all including about like the no. I don't think including a wall. So if we support a wall, does that make someone racist? Um, it's it it goes into a certain racist narrative um, that appeals to certain groups in the society. I don't understand. Could you be more specific? Um, so if we talk about a wall, you know, like do, why would we even need a wall to stop illegal immigration? Because more than half of illegal immigrants enter the country illegally through the Mexican border. Sure, but we already have, like, you already, we don't have, I don't live here, but you have, like, a fence, you have parts that are a wall, and that is already, like, well, no, the problem sometimes is we have, working, sometimes not working. The problem is we have many, 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 countless miles of completely unprotected border right now. Yes, yes. And that's where the problems are. And Amer uh, so, again, my question is, that would be a part, that's not the only thing that people support, right? Yeah. But we do think we have a problem right now of illegal immigration in the country. And we want mm -hmm. people to enter the country legally. Yes. And she's from the Netherlands, she was talking about it, her parents being big American fans. They want to migrate here, my mother migrated here, immigrated here legally. Yeah, yeah, my, right? So the people who hurt the most are legal immigrants. Sister, yeah. So what about all those legal immigrants, you know, black, white, brown, yellow, uh, who also support a wall and stronger immigration policy? Yeah, right here. Oh, just because you're an immigrant doesn't mean you can't be racist. Right so they too would be racist. I am Jesus Christ. No, like there's of course, like there's always the fine line between like, okay, do I support like stronger migration laws, uh, you know, because I'm a conservative person or do I support stronger immigration laws because I am racist. Yeah, but if someone says, for example, Donald Trump, it's because they're conservative and they have a problem with illegal immigration, as I do, as she does, as Donald Trump does, but you said you think that that um, makes them racist. I'm curious, what, uh, who's racist for you? Racist, well, I would go by the textbook definition of racism. Right, so it'd be, sorry, I know he's very loud, I appreciate you and I having a good conversation. Prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's own race is superior. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So I don't believe it's saying, sorry, for a, oh, same thing, the belief that all members of each race possess the characteristics or abilities specific to that race, especially so as to distinguish it as inferior or superior to another race. In other words, believing that members of your race are superior. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. this is the textbook definition. Yes. I don't see how in any scenario wanting, and this is just me being I'm ignorant because, you know, maybe everyone here is a racist, including the black people and brown people who support stronger borders. Mm -hmm. I don't see how supporting stronger borders and making sure that people are migrating here legally is racist. I don't see how in any condemnation, unless they said it's because I don't like Mexicans because they're brown. Mm -hmm. Like if someone said that, I would say, of course, they're racist. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a very, you know, there's a very fine line 
that is like kind of getting the, it's a tight room that he's walking on. I don't think so. Oh, I think I've so. seen plenty of evidence that he's not racist. I mean, you look at the diverse cabinet that he's appointed. You look at his praise of Ben Carson. You look at Arsenio Hall winning the Celebrity Apprentice. He's talked about uh, legal immigrants being great Americans and a great mm -hmm. value to the society. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't see him walking a tightrope. I don't. I don't see any evidence of him being racist. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you mentioned Charlottesville, mm -hmm. and I would agree with you if he didn't say. Of course, white supremacists and neo-Nazis should be condemned totally. So would we agree, seems to me like maybe you weren't fully aware of that, would we agree that, okay, he clearly condemned them, let's move on from that. Let's say he did a good job there, right? And now you're saying he's walking a tightrope. Well, if he didn't, what would he need to do to satisfy you? Would he, what would he need to say outside of condemn them totally? Uh, what he would need to say to me is like, you know, these protests, um, you know, are a way of history repeating itself, like going back to times that honestly I don't want to see in the U.S. anymore, you know, where like people who are liberal or, you know, like are getting attacked. Like you have domestic terrorism here, which is white terrorism. Yeah, well, it's not just white terrorism, but sure. But like this weekend, it's white terrorism. Okay, let's go with white terrorism. Yeah, let's go with white terrorism. I just think it's terrorism because, again, they didn't do it because they were white. So it seems a little racist for you to say that. No, but like what I'm pointing, what I'm pointing. One of them did it because he hated immigrants, and then the yes. other one did it because he was a socialist environmentalist, Elizabeth Warren voter, who wanted socialism in the United States. Yes. Did you know that? About the Dayton shooter, that he was an extremist socialist who killed because he hates Republicans? No, no, I didn't know that, but... Okay. Um, so I say that because it's not like they all have the same ideology, mm -hmm. right? Like Islamic terrorism, if they're killing in a jihad, like ISIS, we can say, well, that's Islamic terrorism, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. White terrorism is not really... They weren't all white supremacists. That's my point. But there's a person here who is a white supremacist. There was one person. Yeah. There is a person here who is a white supremacist. Full stop. End of story. That is yes. white terrorism. That, that one person, If yes. you want to say it's Islamic terrorism, then the other one is most definitely white terrorism. Sure. Like, that's white yes. supremacist terrorism. That one person, yes. Yes. Yeah. But I wouldn't say all homegrown terrorists is white terrorism. No, I didn't say that. Well, you said you have a problem here that's white terrorism. Yeah, I have a problem with white terrorism. No, you said we have a problem that's white terrorism. And I was just saying, there was one white supremacist. You have a problem with white terrorism. Okay. And I'm not saying you don't have a problem with other terrorism. Sure. But you have a problem with white terrorism. Yeah, terrorism is a problem in general. Sure. All terrorism. All terrorism is a problem, most yes. definitely. Yes. But why do you have more white supremacist uh, terrorism than, for instance, we have in Europe? We don't. You do. We don't. Yeah, okay, but then I don't need to argue with you. Like, sorry, but that's bullshit. Didn't you just talk about someone trying to kill the president or the mayor in Germany? Didn't you just talk about them burning down refugee camps? Has that happened in the United States ever? I mean, that's what seemed to me to be white supremacist terrorism, right? Anti-immigrant terrorism. You just listed me a bunch of examples. Did you not? Yes. That's far more extreme than what we've had here. We had one person. Terrible, but it sounds to me like you listed multiple incidents, right? My point. My only point is that it happens everywhere. You, of course you don't have refugee camps, you don't have refugees. Well, they could be doing it at that... Well, we do, we do. We, we have refugees at the border, is what you were talking about. We would just say they're asylum seekers who will be deported. But my point is, you know, we do, you do have it in Europe. Yes, we do. We do have it in Europe. You have white supremacy in Europe. Yes, of course, of course. Particularly Germany. It's a problem. It's not good anywhere. I'm not defending white terrorism. Yeah. Okay, continue with your point before white terrorism. We both agree terrorism bad. We, we both agree terrorism is bad. Donald Trump is racist because. <laughs> okay, Donald, Donald Trump is not racist because. Finish because the there's no evidence that he's, been, that he's a racist. If you make an outlandish accusation that can destroy someone's life, it is your How duty to prove that he's a racist. destroy his life. Are you f***ing kidding me? Accusing anyone of racism is one of the worst accusations you can lob. He's been president well, for three years. How right. has his life been affected? Well, no, hold on a second. I just answered your question. So I said he is not a racist because I've seen no evidence of him being a racist. I just counter-argued what you said, so you... Sure. No, no, I don't think he's a racist because he's never done anything racist. He's done many things to the opposite effect. Why do you think he's a racist? Okay, what has he done to the opposite effect? Uh, I mean, if you look at having Ben Carson on his staff, we talk about, I mean, the guy has repeatedly yeah. embraced people of all different uh, colors as long as they uh, have a, line up with the same political Yeah, persuasion. he's the token black person for the urban stuff. Before he ran for president, Arsenio Hall won uh, Celebrity Apprentice. Yes. Typically not something a racist would do. Are you serious? So is it his job to prove to you that he's not a racist? Because why? Really? You're a racist. Well, because... You're a racist. 
I'm not a there racist. You're a racist. Well, Dude, Please why are you streaming that at me? I'm why, not, I'm not why would you not be a racist? Why would I not be a racist? Yeah, prove, how are you not a racist? <laughs> How am I not a racist? Yeah. I've never committed any racist crime. I've never used racist wording, ideologies. Uh, I've never asked for stronger border control. I've never... Uh, so you see asking... I was with you with everything because you were just like Donald Trump until you said I never asked for stronger border control. Yes. You think that makes someone racist? Um, it's okay, we just disagree. Um, yeah, because like there's a rhetoric used here which uh, downgrades Mexicans as as a race. No. Your problem isn't with uh, Donald Trump, your problem is with the law, but the fact that you assume all the illegal immigrants are brown Mexicans tells me you're racist. Well, the majority is, though. Like, we can't ignore that. Well, that's pretty racist. No, that's not racist at all. That's just factual. I was talking about illegal immigration. You start talking about brown Mexicans. I didn't say brown. You used the word brown, so... Okay, white Mexicans. Okay. Well, dude, like, are you f kidding me? Well, I'm just saying, you said, prove to me he's not a racist. Prove to me you're not a okay. racist. That's not how it works. <laughs> if someone says Donald Trump is a racist, yeah. it is your job okay. to prove that he's a racist. Anyone's job to prove that he's a racist. I just don't see it. Um, what is the reason you need stronger immigration policies? Yeah, several reasons. Uh, for national security reasons, for economic reasons. What is the national security reason? Give me that reason. Okay. You have unprotected borders and you have people who are not being monitored, who don't pay taxes. You have people who are overstaying visas. There is no way to secure our borders if there is giant, unprotected swaths of our border. Mm -hmm. and what will a wall do? So, a wall, it's not just a wall, but a wall. Mm -hmm. Obviously more cyber security, more guards on that wall, and of course having enhanced uh, security measures that would crack down on overstayed visas. Mm -hmm. That would allow us to know who's in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you the only country that needs a wall? Well, because we have a huge border that's unprotected, and we have people flooding through in record numbers, over 100,000 people a month. Oh, you think Europe doesn't have huge borders? Not 100,000 people a month, no. 100,000 people a month? Yes. Honey, like, there's exactly... Like, I guarantee you not as many people are, are Okay, coming. sorry. Italy, Greece, people coming from Turkey. Like, we have... <laughs> you have immigrants, sure. Yes, we have immigrants. But you asked me a reason why we would need a wall. Mm -hmm. And because you don't want a wall in your home country, you think yes. Americans shouldn't want a wall. Than theirs. Yes. We have more people trying to get into this country than any other country in the world. Do you disagree? Mm. Okay, that's a fact. Let's just continue. Then. More people are trying to get into this country. Yeah, okay. more people if, entering if this Germany, country. If Germany, with 80 million uh, inhabitants, can handle 1 million refugees, why can't America, with 300 million inhabitants, handle 3 million refugees? Well, you, you just answered your own question. We have over 300 million people in this country. Yeah. And it's a problem. It's an economic problem, and it's a national security problem to have what more people. What is an economic problem? Well, people who aren't on the books, people who aren't necessarily paying taxes, coming in and benefiting from services here in the United States. Then make them legal. Well, that doesn't help the problem. No. That just encourages that just encourages more people to enter the country illegally, and you end up with them separated in refugee camps, as you put them, because they're encouraged. There's no reason to. If you don't want people to be put in camps at the border, right? If you don't want people to be separated from their families or kids to be locked up with their families, yes. we need to stop the ability for them, stop the incentive for them to come here illegally. No, we need to offer them asylum and we need to offer them a way to legally What if we don't want to? Why don't you want to? What is your reason that you don't... I want them to go through the legal channels as all of the legal immigrants have. What if we make it legal? No, not, not if they're here illegally, no. There is a legal way to come to this country. They're not doing it. I don't think that's racist. Most Americans don't think that's racist. Your friend from the Netherlands doesn't think it's racist. My French Canadian mom doesn't think it's racist. That's okay for my friend from the Netherlands. But you think it's racist to believe that people should enter the country legally? Um, I think it's racist to believe uh, that people that come from Mexico ultimately bring in, like, rape, bring in violence, bring in, I don't even know. Okay, other, other, oh, I have another beautiful example. Okay. What about call, calling Africa shithole countries? Well, you didn't say Africa is a sh or shithole countries. You no. talked about multiple countries being shithole countries. Yes. Yeah. What, how is that not racist? How calling it depends on whether it's a shithole country or not. Okay, if I call, like... That's not, say, that's not saying that you believe you're superior to someone because of race. Of course it is. I'm saying you are shit. We are great. I'm not gonna lie. That's I think secure. Germany's kind of a shitty country. Doesn't mean I think Germans are lesser than Americans. I just don't like your policies. Well, that is racist because you would say that like Germans are shitty. No, I think Germany is a crappy country. 
for why, a multitude of reasons. Why is Germany a crappy country? Well, you don't have freedom of speech is one of them. We have freedom I of speech. No, you don't. You don't have, have freedom, freedom of speech. Of You're not a freedom of speech. You jail people for unpopular speech. You jail people for offensive speech. No. I, yes, you do. No. I don't. No. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. It is 100% accurate. You're lying. Like, I live. You do not have freedom of speech enshrined in the German constitution. It doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Let me continue on down the list. I worked in media. I worked in news. Yeah, we have freedom of speech. We could write whatever we wanted to. No, you don't. No, we do. Let me ask you this. I are studied you, you... politics in Germany. I sure. studied the system. What you're right. saying is a bland out so, lie. No, it's 100% accurate. People are arrested in Germany, jailed for speech. No, no. Yes. They're arrested. They're arrested if they use hateful speech. Because of course they are. Okay, f*** off. So you want Nazis? You guys started it. Come on, that's okay. Let's not get heated. Anytime it gets heated, we have to calm it down. We, if you want to calm down. No, I'm sorry, but this is this is f***ed up. We have Nazis. So people are arrested for hate speech, though. People are arrested for hate speech. You don't have freedom of speech, so I think Germany's shitty. Thank you. No, I don't shake with you. It's You're okay. a liar. You're a f***ing liar. I'm sorry, but where's the line? I'm sorry, where's the f***ing line? All speech is permissible. No line. All speech is permissible. All speech is permissible. Yeah, no matter how offensive, it's permissible. Okay. You so, can't jail anyone for speech. Okay. So, I mean, you would be the one in the 1930s, 80s who would definitely vote for Hitler. Like, yeah, I say all. No, 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 no. We voted for the guy who beat your leader's ass. No, you didn't. You weren't alive. I wasn't you. alive. You said if I were alive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Seriously, though. But um, if we can't... I mean, I would vote, I would vote, put it this way, if I were in Germany at that time, I would vote against the National Socialist who implemented gun control and speech restrictions. I would vote against him. Okay, if I, if I can say, like, uh, Jews are bastards and they should all die, and I don't have to end up in... It's terrible to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. And I don't, like... And you shouldn't be jailed. You don't, oh, you don't always end up in jail. Sometimes you just get a penalty. But, oh my God. I don't think, okay. I don't think you should be penalized for saying something offensive. That's what I'm saying. Why you don't not? have freedom. Because I don't want that power to be delegated to the government. Because we never okay. know who the next guy is going to be. The government should not be in charge of who is allowed to speak or what they're allowed to say. Okay, okay. And if you think that makes me a racist, that's fine. I would never no, say no, those no, no, things. No, 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 I understand. That's liberal. That's yes. like, you have a liberal view on that. I yes. understand that. That's like, I understand and that. And I think that countries that don't support, the United States is the only country that has that. Yeah. I think it's shittier. So it's not because I hate Germans, but I think that policy is a sh policy. You may disagree with me, but you understand my reasoning, right? I do disagree with you, yeah. Okay, but you, it's not because I'm racist, you understand, right? Like, I would be right there saying, hey, that's a shitty thing to say if someone said that about Jews. Yes. Okay, especially as a supporter of Israel. Mm. I hate it when people go out and just go on anti-Semitic tirades, yes. but they have the right to do it. They have the right to do it. Yes, in this country, not in Germany. So there is no line for you? Not when it comes to speech. Not when it comes to speech. Okay, no. so where is the line? There is no line with speech. So the line is in action? Yes. Okay, okay. I understand that. That's a liberal view. That's like, that's fine. Okay, good. Yeah. We've calmed down now. We're good. We, yeah, yeah, we've I think you were down. misunderstanding me because you think I was supporting racist speech. I'm not. I just support people's right to say it. Uh, you're just twisting around words. No, no. I, I, I'm trying to be as clear as possible. There is no, no, no line. No, no, I understand. You're liberal. Like, I understand okay. that. You're like liberal in that sense that you say everybody should be able to say whatever, whenever. Right. Mm -hmm. Just like Donald Trump. Just like Republican, that's what Republicans, conservatives tend to believe. Freedom of okay. speech is absolute. Okay. We're very liberal. Okay, but then like we will not, like then we, you and me will not find common ground okay. because I believe in the idea that discourse and that what we are saying is shaping our society. I agree with you too. That's why I hope that you see this is productive. That's why we didn't just sit and yell with him. But oh, what happened? Oh, sorry. Um, I hope that you would see this discourse yeah. as productive. This is what I try and do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is that even though I think that guy's a jerk mm -hmm. and he was yelling and berating people and, mm -hmm. and screaming, mm -hmm. I don't believe that I have the right to shut him down or the government does. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's yeah. all I'm saying. But okay. this is the discourse that I support and believe in, yeah. even if we disagree. Yeah, like my problem is that like basically if the discourse is like filled with hate speech, if the discourse is filled with like then it normalizes 
then it takes the step to action, like is a lot lower. Do you know what I mean? I, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but I think a far graver risk is that step in giving the authority to the government and determining what speech is permissible. So I agree with you. If you say it's a slippery slope, right, mm -hmm. because we allow people to speak freely mm -hmm. and they might say something that could inspire someone to do something terrible. And yes. I agree, that could happen. Yes. But I would say more of a concern, particularly mm -hmm. as you'd mentioned historically, Germany, Russia, Cuba, mm -hmm. these places, more of a concern is once the government gets that power in determining what is offensive, what is hate speech, mm -hmm. they expand that power and that's a far greater risk mm -hmm. than individuals saying terrible things. Mm -hmm. That's just, but that's an opinion. Yeah, that's an opinion. So you have a very, like, I understand, like, you have a very liberal, like, freedom-oriented view of government. Well, right. I come from a very social democratic system where, like, we... We value certain ideals and certain, like, also security over freedom. Right. Yes. I understand that. I just disagree with it. Mm -hmm. I just agree with it. Yeah, okay. uh, that I understand. That okay. I understand. All right. Good. Yeah. Well, I think it's, I don't want to take I don't want to take up the whole time, but I appreciate you sitting down. I hope yeah, we left it course. better than when we got set. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Look at that. We went from a one to a ten in intensity, and then back down to a two. Thanks, Jesse. By the way, if you want these segments to continue, please consider joining Mug Club at louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club. Not only do you get access to the full daily show not available on YouTube, as well as this hand-etched, girthy mug, but it's the only way for this content to continue on YouTube, since the tech overlords have deemed this series too controversial to monetize or even be included in the suggested feed. Okay, on with the hate-speaking show. Hello, y'all. All the way from California. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Taisha. Taisha? Yeah. Well, nice what to meet you, yours? Steven. Steven, okay. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I should have said my name while shaking your hand. Absolutely. Yeah, apologies. There's just so much going on here. All right, so Taisha, right? Got that correct? If I get it wrong again, Absolutely. I apologize. Um, this is pretty simple. I mean, you hear this guy yelling. I'm not convinced that Donald, President Donald Trump is a racist. Um, I don't buy it. Change my mind. I truly believe that Donald Trump's a racist. Okay. Why? Because Donald Trump don't understand the difference between living several lives, you know what I'm saying? Some people are grow, growing up with, with silver silver and gold spoons in their mouth, and some people are not, right? Right. And I really feel that he leaned towards the side that grew up with silver and gold spoons in their mouth, right? So my side is a side that didn't grow up in that type of equality, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And I just think that, you know, he's not for the people, you know what I'm saying? He's selfish, and he just for himself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be a part of the problem. I want to be a part of the solution. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I we got to let him serve his four term for four years and hope he don't get elected for a second term. He probably will. Huh? Probably will. And he probably won't. You know, it's a 50-50 chance. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, my vote is going to say that he not get a second term. Right. Oh, I'll agree. Donald Trump don't need a second term? Oh, well, so maybe you got Trump support. No, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, no, I, I understand where you're coming. And I was certainly wasn't raised with a silver spoon. If he do, he don't. He don't. Exactly. I wasn't raised with a silver spoon. But what specifically makes you think that he's a racist? Because that's a very, that's a very lofty accusation, right, to toss out there. Well, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I grew up around Hispanic people, you know, and I love the Hispanic people. And I understand, I mean, he has a great argument about putting the wall up at the end of the day, but I don't like the simple fact that he separated the children from their parents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a child development major, of course, and of course it says that a child needs to be with someone that cares for them and not with strangers. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I believe in children being around either the mom or dad or someone that they know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it was, I remember it was one situation where he separated, he completely separated the mom from the child for at least six months and I believe the child was one, not even 10 years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, and do you, you believe that makes him a racist? Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, would he want his son separate with him? No, I don't, I don't think months? anybody would. No, Do you absolutely. believe Barack Obama's a racist? Um, not really. I mean, but Barack Obama was for everybody. But he did that. Huh? He did that. I don't remember him separating no child So did from Bill Clinton. Family. It goes actually back to the 97 Flores consent policy where they said that you can't separate children right. from their parents, right? It was right. a problem, and so then they stopped doing it because they saw it um, basically as cruelty for children to be separated, and then they ended up putting them together, which is how you see these families in what they refer to as children in cages, which actually the pictures you saw happened under Barack Obama, but he did that exact same thing. Right. And as a matter of fact, Barack Obama deported more illegal immigrants than Donald Trump. Up to 400,000 a month, Donald Trump stayed under 300,000. Right. So, but, but at the end of the day, 
But at the end of the day, Trump is still in his first term. Barack Obama already served two times but already. But my point is, he did so the same thing. Pretty that much, him if, he, racist. if you win the second election, I'm pretty sure his his numbers will, I'll, you know, I'll number um, Barack. Well, no, I'm talking about on a month, uh, on a, an annual Finally basis complete. or a month to month basis. So right. no, I'm not saying totality. Obviously, Barack Obama would deport more. I'm talking about on a consistent sort of on a per <laughs> series, per period of time basis. So right. my only question to you is, you know, I don't, I don't think Barack Obama's a racist. I don't think Bill Clinton's a racist. I don't think Donald Trump's a racist. I don't think George W. Bush was a racist. But if Barack Obama and Bill Clinton did the exact same thing, do you believe that they are racist? Because that was what you said right, justified right. your And also, also, like I said, I mean, Barack Obama, okay, when you speak on Barack Obama, <laughs> Barack Obama was for all races, right? But he did the same all thing as far as separating life. families. Okay, uh, absolutely. Okay, I, I totally agree that he separated families and all that. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, let me tell you, Barack Obama was for all walks of life. Trump is not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He's ready to come in there and cut this, cut that, cut this, cut that. Stuff that people actually rely on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's not saying, well, it, within five years, he's not even pre-warning people and said, within five years, I'm cutting this. Within 10 years, I'm cutting this. I think it's only fair if you see poor people, you need to pre-warn them so they can make changes in their life and get prepared for things to be cut. Yeah, right. So you are saying, I just want to make sure that I understand this. You said because he separated family, if that was racist. Mm -hmm. But it's not racist for Barack Obama to do it because you believe that in combination with the fact that Trump is not for everyone, you believe he's racist. At the end of the day, I think everybody has racism in you know okay. And I don't care who you are, you have racism. In so you. not Donald you know Trump particularly more than because anyone else. Say like you're, you're walking, I mean, say like you're driving down the street. You get caught up, call, you might call somebody out their name, really you know what I'm saying, pretending their to their race. You know, so so I like think Asian, we are racist. Something like that. Yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. No, oh, I get it. Nothing. But personally, I hope he don't get a second term. I just don't hope that. Right, but I do think it's important, I mean, because accusing somebody of racism, right, that can be something that alters people's lives. You know, if someone isn't Absolutely. a racist and they're called a racist, right, they can't get a job. Right. right? They're tarred and feathered for the rest of their lives. Right. And we see when Donald Trump isn't for all people. Um, I mean, I don't agree. Care. Black Americans it's have it better under Donald Trump than they did under racist. Barack Obama. Rasmussen Poll actually showed at the end of Obama, racist. black we people answered saying they don't think that life was better for black Americans under Obama. But these are polls from Gallup and Rasmussen, and black unemployment is at an all-time low. So it seems to me that he's doing some things that are benefiting everyone. Everybody. We don't right, care how but, uncomfortable okay, that put it like this. Makes you feel. When Barack Obama had got We're out, yeah. he tried to your create racism. healthcare for everyone, right? What has changed? He's trying to cut. Well, he's trying to improve healthcare for everyone. Another thing. Because healthcare, because healthcare became way too racist. expensive for people with the Obama That's exchange care. Right. People who were in the middle class, they didn't they didn't qualify for the benefits, and so they were harmed. Right, so what Donald Trump is trying to do, and I agree, he hasn't done enough on healthcare, but he's trying to fix it in a different way. So my point is, I think here's what I, I would ask you: Do you think that maybe, just maybe, and I appreciate how civil this has been, and I can bear that guy screaming and yelling. Just hold on, thanks. Um, that maybe you have a preconceived notion about President Trump, and so you sort of attribute racism there where it, it may not be. You maybe have some prejudice. Do you think that could be fair to say? No, I'm not. No, I'm not prejudiced. I wouldn't say I'm prejudiced. I'm absolutely not prejudiced. I didn't deal with all walks of life, all races. I didn't work around. Well, no, all I mean races. Donald Trump. Donald Trump prejudice against Donald Trump because you seem to you seem to sort of presuppose that he's a racist before you I analyze just, his actions. I just personally don't like the guy because of the simple fact of you know how could you elect a president that got away with so much? You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. He don't even like women. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, I think he, he likes women a lot. No, no, no. For a simple fact is, oh, he grabs about a crouch and all that. I, mean, I think he likes him. He might like him a little too much. Nah, nah, but that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's disrespectful, yeah. If your, you and your wife was walking down the truck driving you, I'm pretty sure you would have wanted to knock him out. Right? Oh, yeah, of course. If it were my wife. I thought you were saying he was gay. No, I wasn't saying he was gay. No, no, no. I'm saying that how could you elect someone that under these circumstances of what they did, whether if they pass or present, whatever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, 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 listen, I'm not here to defend everything from Donald right. Trump. I just don't see any evidence that Donald Trump is a racist. I see a lot of evidence to the contrary. And that you see him heaping praise on all kinds of black Americans. He was the first. Uh, he was the first uh, president to release that. Uh, I forgot her name. The black woman who was in there for drug-related crimes. He commuted her sentence. She was out. Barack Obama never did it. Actually, I think I might have her. Uh, I'll find her name. It wasn't Anita. It was, what was the name, Darren? The lady who he commuted her sentence. Black lady, drug-related crimes. Well, maybe he likes some of Do you remember that? If someone could Google really quickly, the black lady for uh, Donald Trump commuted her sentence for drug-related crimes. It wasn't Anita. It wasn't. It was with an A though. Allison. Alice. Alice. What? 
Alice Marie Johnson. You are. So he did that and talked about what a great woman she was. I mean, my point, yeah, maybe with some black people. Right. But the point is, I don't think we've seen him do anything that would indicate he hates black people. But he could have done that on, because he don't want people to believe that he racist. He could have did something like that, like, just, just but, little but things. But that's only if you assume just, he's racist, though. See, you're saying, because you don't, but you're assuming that he is racist. I, I, what if I, he's not? I'm never going to be convinced that he's not. <laughs> well, that's not fair. I, I just it's not fair to say that, though. Shouldn't, shouldn't you have to prove that someone's racist? Yeah, you should. I mean, I've been accused of being racist just because I believe that we should have border security. Right. I mean, where's... I think uh, we should have border security too. He's I mean, biracial. He works for me. Right. He's quarter right. right. black. Right. Yeah, you know, my point is, and I, I'm not saying that's hey, my token black friend, but the point is, it doesn't mean that you hate black people just because someone says they do. Let me, let me read you a couple of quotes. I want to see if you think that these, these are racist, okay? And the reason is it's just because I do, this is an exercise, it's not a gotcha. Where are these coming from? Well, I don't want to tell you first, okay? I, I, let's read these as Donald Trump quotes. I want to. Yeah, I know you didn't look that up through Wikipedia. No, no, these are real quotes, I promise okay. you, okay? <laughs> All right, so hold on a second. Let me find this here really quickly. I mean, right. because I know in college we're taught to uh, give someone credit if you're, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a credit afterward, but I want to see because okay. I this is a mental exercise. I think you're attributing a little bit more racism than is actually there. Okay. And we've all done it if it's someone we don't like, right. mind you, right? I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I wasn't a huge fan of Barack Obama. I come from Quebec, socialist province. So I might have had some blind spots where I attributed motive in my mind where I shouldn't have. So I'll admit that. All right, so let me ask you this. Do you take this as a racist quote? Uh, legal immigrants enrich our nation and strengthen our society in countless ways. I want people to come into our country in the largest numbers ever, but they do have to come in legally. Is that racist? That don't sound racist. That's not racist, okay. He's just saying that he don't want to cut it illegally. He's just right. got to come in illegally. Okay, okay. Uh, America proudly welcomes millions of lawful immigrants who enrich our society and contribute to our nation, but all Americans are hurt by uncontrolled illegal immigration. Not always true. Okay, but you wouldn't say that's racist. Uh, yeah, it sounds racist because okay. we're not always hurt by illegal immigrants. No, no, he said, he said, but all Americans are hurt. Not always hurt, but all okay, Americans I get, are hurt. I get, I get okay. what he's saying. All right, what about this? Maybe as far as taking away our resources and all okay. that. So maybe. All right, I'm reading these in progressive order, right? Okay. The American people who are a welcoming and gen American people are welcoming and generous people, but those who enter our country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law. And because we live in an age where terrorists are challenging our borders, we cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, and unchecked. Americans are right to demand better border security and better enforcement of immigration laws. Does that sound racist? No, that's not racist. That doesn't sound racist? Good. We are a nation of laws. Undocumented workers broke our immigration laws. And I believe that they must be held accountable, especially those who may be dangerous. But he only owns that's why over the past six criminals are up. Criminals. Yeah. Uh, so you think this is racist? This one? No, it's not racist. Actually, okay. Because it's only pertains to the immigrants. You know? Right. My question was, do we walk, do we, do we like all walks alike? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just not illegal immigrants. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, so you don't think any of those are racist? No, it wasn't. Okay. Because half of those are Barack Obama. You're interested in the propaganda. Okay. Donald Trump and Barack Obama are very similar in immigration policy. Okay, but you know, I know the difference between somebody being racist and somebody not being racist. Right. So what do you? What would be an example of Donald Trump being explicitly racist? What you don't understand is who you're talking with. Just the things he do, the, the, the cuts that he makes, and all that stuff. I mean. But if you engage he wants to, the like, on the take, battlefield, you know, just I'm take different learning. things away. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, you guys are, I haven't too much read up on what he cut lately, but I know he cut some things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I remember he tried to take the, um, you? what makes you turn your head? I think he tried what to take you the, uh, the, the, the phone away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he's a racist. That is racist. You know why? Because you're assuming that only black people need no, 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 not only black people. Everybody, every walk of life need a free phone. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody goes on hard times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, saying but, but I don't when, when it's not about huh? politics. I don't agree. I'm saying, I, what I, I respectfully disagree. What I'm it's saying is, he's racist towards. He's not, he not, I guess he's not racist towards. He's not racist towards. He's just racist towards. The simple no, fact is, like, not at this point, he don't understand not. that, you know, you have actually poor people out there. You think he's insensitive toward poor people? He's completely And poor people could be black, white, brown. Exactly. Okay, so you don't think he's racist, you think he's more classist? That's that part right there. Okay. So right. maybe I'm so racist about with class. Well, that's fine. That was see, that was productive. I think we both discussed that and figured it out. Yeah. But I just still don't think he's a good president to be in. You know. Oh, that's for fine. Our country, you know what I saying? understand. Because you need somebody. You need somebody that understands all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody to help our country, not hurt our country. But you know our country's saying? doing better than because ever the, before. At the end of the day, I mean, we do have record low unemployment. Have to, we have higher wages. You know, right. we have more. We have a job surplus. There are more jobs available than ever before. Um, our country's doing really well. So everyone is doing really well. Right. There's more class mobility. Now, it's never perfect, 
But I would say that that is indicative of someone who's trying to improve the country for everyone. But, you know, we can disagree on that. But, right. Okay. But when you start cutting stuff from the poor people, it's more for them. Because why? They're going to start talking to people that has more, whether they work for it or they got it with how they got it. You know what I'm saying? No, I think an antidote to more crime is more employment. We have more employment than ever before. So well, maybe no, that's, that's why not we have always. Good. That's not always. What about the people that don't want to work? Those people, what about the, what those about people, the people are useless. That rely, I, well, people who don't want to work? Totally agree. Yeah, I you have no saying? tolerance for people what who don't want to work. What about the people that relies on the government and all that stuff? And then if he cut that... Cut it. No, why, people, what you people mean People who cut don't want to work, cut it. What do you mean cut it? Cut that I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to cut it. Why? Because anybody can fall on hard times. Somebody can lose their job. But you just said tomorrow. people who don't want to work. Okay. So okay, I'm talking about serial welfare work. recipients. Cut it. Okay. But at the end of the day, and I don't think that's okay, racist. Them and the people that fall on hard times because everybody falls on hard. Times. I fall on hard times, but that's very different. That's, and then some that's much easier to cut. measure than people who don't want to work. Right. So you know when you look at like for example the uh, the Green New Deal, or look at some of the proposals from Cortez. I don't they, want to cut. You know why? Because I think it's going to increase the crime rate. Trump supporters have I don't care. I do. I don't care if it increases the crime rate. I, do. I don't think it will, but I don't care. If someone doesn't want to work, I'm I don't a think it's my job to pay for that. You think I want? You think I want crime rate increase? I don't want nobody to be breaking in my house. They go, oh, she got this, she got that, just because they see me with a brand new car. Well. If you're affording a brand new car because you're working, that's a good thing. Yeah. But I don't think that I don't I don't want to have a gun at my head and be held hostage by someone who doesn't want to work saying, Hey, give me this free stuff, otherwise I'm gonna commit crime. That's not how it works. No. Well you, but you don't get free you don't get free stuff. And if you commit crime, we lock you up. Right. Right. But guess what? Somebody might have to get hurt or die before that person get locked up. Well, I'll just lock them up. I think it'll. I think it'll. It's it's a better solution than giving people free stuff because we're afraid they might loot and cause crime. I don't believe that's how. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't necessarily agree. Right. I understand people fall on hard times, but people who don't want to work, they shouldn't. Eat. I think it's a difference between a man and a woman because you, a probably a, a person will target me more than they target you because you're a man. They know you're gonna fight. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's why you should own a gun. Even though the guy's dead. A lot of people tell me that. You know what I'm saying? I got God in my life, so. Well, that's good. But you know, say a prayer, but also lock your doors and uh, pop the magazine in there. Thank you. Was it Taisha? Taisha. Okay. Thank you, Taisha. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed yourself. All right. It was very productive. You have a good day. God bless you. Eight children. Yeah. Oh man, that's tough. Godspeed. And a college student. Oh, good for you. Awesome, thank you. Hey, if you enjoyed this installment of Change My Mind, click one of these other installments in the videos playing in boxes here. That's the only way you'll find them because if you search Change My Mind, they might not show up because YouTube's deemed them controversial. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, you know, we'll 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 see you, but we probably won't. <laughs>